music producers, beat makers, artists, music makers in general. This is Strat Carter from Strategic Audio, back with a new video where I will be going through breaking down another new sample. Now, previously I would have been dealing with mainly some soulful, kind of retro vintage style samples this one is going to be a little different this is from an upcoming loop kit that is free 100 percent free it is inspired by artists like lil baby gunna lil dirk even drake um that 4pf sound that ovo sound a little bit of them a little bit of both of them mixed up together now if you got this far it means you heard the preview so you know what it sounds like so before we break it down um just leave a like and perhaps subscribe if you like my content that really helps out a lot and without further ado now let's get into this breakdown i started with piano and this is the piano midi right here um, it has a emotional chord movement um, very similar to what for what people like to call that 4pf style that little baby style and it has a, a haunting repetitive melody i played this one live on my midi controller which is what i do for most things and this is what it sounds like. Yeah, I love that. So the only thing I added after I played the progression is these really low notes. All the way down there, I just copied the bass notes that I played on the piano and brought them down an octave just to give it that little bit of um, substance in the low end. As usual I don't do too much in terms of effects well maybe for some it might be a lot but I just do a basic EQ. The cymatics origin gives it a nice vibe and adds some vinyl crackle and some saturation and Valhalla Room Reverb and a basic compressor. The purpose of the reverb and the cymatics origin is just to allow the piano to sit kind of in its own frequency space. That is a very important thing when you're making loop samples and beats, music in general. So the next melodic element I added was this bass line I created in Serum. Um, it's a synth bass and it sounds like this. And it blends really well with the low end of the piano. Next up I added the strings. I wanted to add some extra emotion and the strings have a way of, of sometimes making things feel sad. They can make things feel happy depending on how you play it. But in this case we're in a minor key, D minor. And the way I play these, it's emotional, kind of somber. And this is what they sound like. And those strings were played with augmented strings by Arturia. I love this plugin. And by the way, the piano is, of course, Piano Tech 8, one of the best piano plugins on the planet. In terms of effects on the strings, it wasn't much at all, just a basic EQ and a compressor. Um, the Augmented Strings plugin comes equipped with some really nice sounds. Sound selection is very important. And there's some built in reverb and delay effect um, in that preset already. So I didn't need to do anything else. Next on the agenda, I added some vocals, really a choir effect. I wanted to give it an almost cathedral, gothic kind of feel. And when I found this preset in Augmented Voices, I thought it fit quite well. And this is what it sounds like. In terms of effects on the choir, basic stock EQ to just take out some of the offending frequencies and a little bit of a boost in a frequency that is suited for two, two vocals. The human ear tends to hear those frequencies more sharply or more clearly than other frequencies because speech is our main focus. Apart from that, 
I added Effector, I used the Vox setting and played around till I found a nice tone for the vocals. Valhalla Room Reverb once again to give it some space and a basic EQ from Waves. So this loop, this sample is quite simple and the final element in it is a pad that I created in Omnisphere and all I did was I played the same chords I played for the piano with this pad just to add another layer and fatten the sound up and this is what it sounds like. And so now this is the full sample all together one more time. So just as an example, a quick example, um, this is how it would sound if you made it into a beat by adding some drums. And I just dragged in one of my own drum loops that I created and this is what it sounds like. And that is it, that's the full breakdown of this sample. Um, I hope you enjoy it. So now I'm just gonna preview a couple of the other samples from the kit. Um, again, the kit is called Take Your Shot. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but that is the title. It's inspired by some of the top hit making tracks and artists and producers of today. Artists like Lil Baby, Gunna, Drake, Lil Dirk, Metro, Boomin, and so on and so on and so on eight multi-instrument melodic loops along with all stems link in the description completely free and um if you like this content um if you like the breakdown please leave a like subscribe if you want to you know keep keep track of what i have going on and check out the rest of these loops only going to be a couple of them and then that's the end of the video peace So there you have it. That's just a small sampling of the samples in the kit. Like I said, link in the description, like and subscribe. Completely free kit. Um, hope you have a great time with these loops and samples and make some hits. And um, 
please make sure that you read the text file that comes with the kit. If you do download it, it's very important. Peace, and I'll see you next time.